What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online, www.whatsupinthesky.com. Fresh from the rover. I mean, honestly, it's all coming together now just as we expected it to. As we, I said, once we get to the waterline, we start heading up the mountain, we're going to see ruins. Buildings caked. Look at this thing. Tell me what kind of material can get this thin. Either that or we're seeing some sort of trickery here or some sort of... Uh, of obfuscation. Look how thin this material gets and comes back out and holds it right here. Even if this was, so let's just say this was a rock in your backyard. It looks this right here coming down. <laughs> I'm all, I'm excited about this one because we've gotten to the area where we thought we'd get it. Now they've given us the worst quality pictures. All the, look at this down here where there's obviously some interesting stuff going on down here. Um, look what they've done. Look at this. They've put in JPEG artifacts. We've seen that in picture after picture in the last couple of weeks. Um, it has nothing to do with, uh, I don't think, a you know part of the rover being broken, a smudge on the lens. It's because all of these amazing anomalies. Look at this stuff down in here. Perfect. We're looking at buildings that have been smashed. I mean, this is the 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 coup d'etat for the anomalous. The ones that have been sitting here. The ones that have you people come to the channel and uh, and and comment on this stuff all the time and 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 have put your time and effort into it. This is the good stuff. That's why they picked Mount Sharp. Gale Crater was the place to go. It was either a habitat for the civilization. They knew this from the high rise. Um, if you go to Where's My Rover, you just type that in. You can see this area. You can even look down in there and see the walls of this area. But what kind of material can hold that? Now, let me show you that this is a picture from NASA, directly from their website. It's from Saul. 1441 fresh off the rover and look down here just like i said down there in that corner they're hiding stuff well i don't even know why it's 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 kind of like plausible deniability now i mean nasa is not here they've hid something that look why would you have all these nice little blocks 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 and then obvious blur you know that's the the camera didn't cut out there on an obvious look at that look at the actual curvature in that it opens up into like a, a slit like a a tongue of a a snake type thing or like a fork see that right there how it opens up at least it does looks like that from this angle but i tell you what this stuff and and i mean this is what we would be seeing and i should have gotten i saw i got, I got excited i wanted to get this video out to you guys i still got one behind it that's even going to blow you guys mind even more that shows about the that's just a little sneak peek of about the whole safe mode, why it was done, um, what they found here, and this is the stuff that they found. They had the game plan it. We're like, uh oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> We've given up the, you know, we, we're at the point where either Curiosity Rover is going to have to go down, and right, let me move it back up to this spot up here, or um, we're just going to have to let the public know what's going on, and they'll never come out. I, I personally don't think they're ever going to come out and say, hey, look at this old civilization there, but they're going to give us the pictures, and eventually we're going to get these pictures in the PDS file, which is going to be a, with no JPEG artifacts, and if there are JPEG artifacts on it, it's just going to prove even more that they've obfuscated, and why wouldn't they? Most of the, the governments obfuscate, but let's just look at the... Uh, Look how perfect this, there's like a line that comes up here. It almost looks like a, a hose of some sort that connects into some piece of machinery. I've been telling you guys for the longest time that they this is not the color of Mars. I mean, it, it's like this, I call it butterscotch puke that they use. But you can see, just look, either that or they hid something under it. Look at the squares around it. It's not like that out here in the, you know, in the in the sky. But when you get up close to it, look how it's squared out. I mean, they've done work to try and hide this or to make it look different. And you're going to see in my next video why. You know, what happened when they when they found this area, they rolled up on it, and they had to cut the rover. And they had 10 days to go searching. So, a very interesting stuff at the top of this picture. And once again, it is of the worst quality. When just days before, the same day, you have pictures that are crystal clear. But we can't seem to get one of this mountain. Look at the like the symmetry in these uh, in the ruins here. I mean, I'm saying they're ruins. I'm not even going to say what if these aren't anymore. Look at this comes around to a perfect. Uh, what well, looks like it, you know one of our skateboards. We're skating. <laughs> if anybody's in demolition, we've got a lot of people that are on my channel that if you go back and and you 
read this stuff. They say we're in demolition or I, I, we've been taking down buildings for years or cleaning up after earthquakes, missionaries. There all sorts of people subscribe to this channel say these are what look like buildings that have been basically demolished, destroyed. Whatever took out Mars took it out and it really did a number on it. See the walls still intact up here? Even though all the JPEG artifacts over it, which you can see that they've laid them over it because you can see up in the sky there are none, but all around the edges, there they are. They think that that's going to trick our eyes not to see this stuff, but I think they know better. Honestly, I think that they're just, that's like I said, plausible deniability. Oh, well, we did do it. It's been there the whole time, you know, so I, I at least give kudos for the people that, you know, put these pictures out. This is not on Devon Island. This is on Mars. We know that for 100% sure. We watched. Anybody who understands science understands uh, even the geopolitical system and how it works um, shouldn't be tricked into something that, you know, Mars, we're not on Mars or the Earth is flat. I mean, come on, we're way past that in science. Um, in physics, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> if you fly planes, you understand it. If you can, if, if it doesn't take a genius, so this stuff shouldn't take a genius to to look at and say, God, this looks like ruins, ruins from a civilization. Who knows? They could have been much more. Um, like people like Richard C. Hoagland, I'm on his show all the time. Keith Laney, they they think that you know 200,000 years ago somewhere around that time maybe even longer ago I always put 200,000 on it now because that's where I think it all went down there was a you know a solar system wide catastrophe and Mars just happened one part of it took the burnt and this is what was left of the civilization I mean this right here looks like a, a skull we're not going to go there just because of the fact that there's so much else here and that's what will get used in, in an article or something somebody will write an article and say uh you know will farrar of elton C. skull when obviously this has either been tinkered with or this material here is so strong that it can hold not only its weight because whatever it is it's it's one piece like a piece of metal or you know a piece of rock it can hold its own weight, hang over a cliff, and have a piece of something on it, which has got to—it's got to be heavy. So whatever it is, it's—it's—it's it's, it's mass, unless it's a uh, you know leftover foam. So I thought you guys would like this. Check out the link below because you're going to get a. Uh, and honestly, look at all the the as it's come down the mountain, just the 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 sheer the sheer amount of it right here we got a perfect little perfect little piece there and i think mount sharp of course was on i believe it was a you know a port you know maybe even a military port they probably had water there but look was hidden under here i mean it, if we could only see once they've done it we can't get that back don't let anybody tell you they can some people have algorithms they can try and get it back it does not work like i mean once it's gone it's gone but this is we've been looking at the nasa version let's flip back to mine we can actually see it even better. Pretty cool. Let me go back up. Look at that. I mean, that's just... A lot of people say I, I move around too much. When I get excited, I do. So this is one of the ones I'm pretty excited about. The next video is going to be pretty damning, I think. Oh, look, I even moved it over some in the excitement. <laughs> it happens, so... All right, guys, much love to you. Hope you're having yourself a good one. Um, it's Saturday night here. Uh, Maryland's finally starting to cool down a little bit. Got a lot of work to do around the house for fall to get ready. Um, every time I turn around, something's breaking. You know, I guess that's what happens when you own a home. So, all right, guys, much love. We're looking at unequivocally Martian ruins on Mars, not on Earth. If I could show you, we say we're going to be doing a lot of good stuff coming up. Uh, Yufa, along with Keith, along with uh, you know Laney, along with uh, Curry, along with Richard Hoagland, all these guys. We're, we've got some good stuff coming up, so stay tuned with some good people, and uh, we're going to bring it to you. So, all right, guys, much love. Take it easy.